What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Games right back at you with another comic book video haul. This is 024 in the library. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. It's been a long time since my last haul because dun -dun -dun -dun, your boy got married. <laughs> so that's why I haven't put out a, a, a video in a while. But uh, yeah, uh, the wedding was amazing, beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to take a honeymoon because we went to Tulum a, a few months ago and I'm and I'm out of vacation time So just waiting till next year until my vacation time kicks in to have a proper honeymoon But uh, yeah, feels good to be married. All right, and I got a bunch of bunch of comic books to show you guys so, And um, you know what? Let's just get into it. I, I got so many books. It's really piled, piled up I probably have to make three or four videos just to, get, to show off all the books that I, that I have but uh, let's just start off with um, this bad boy right here. I got two of these. This is a uh, Venom uh, custom edition from the uh, from watching the movie at AMC. I I love the movie. Dialogue script was horrible, but uh, Tom Hardy is just worth the price of admission. And uh, you know, yeah, I, I think he did a spectacular job. And uh, I'm excited for uh, this. I'm sure this gonna be a sequel because of how much money it made this, this past weekend. So super excited. This comic art is pretty badass. So I was able to get two of these bad boys. And uh, yeah, if you, I mean, I highly recommend recommend Venom. I know it's been mixed reviews, but I loved it. So and that's all I can ask. For. I had a good time in theater, and that's that's all I asked. So <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Next up, all right. We got Venom First Host. Uh, this is just a variant. Um, so all these comic books I'm sure to show are just backed up, backed up comic books of you know weeks and weeks. I'm sure you've seen these in other field videos, but just let me go through them. This is uh, Avengers number seven. It's cool, Mr. Negative, and, uh, and the, the Spider-Man costume from the from the video game, which that video game I also I've been playing, but I've been. Um, which is amazing. Um, I, I kind of stopped playing it because of the wedding stuff, but I, I'm going to jump back into it. I think I'm about like only 15% in. Um, all right. Moving on. I'm going to go pretty fast. This is Fantastic Four. This is an Arthur Adams variant. Pretty cool. Uh, Thanos Legacy number one. Uh, this is a George Perez variant. Got Venom number three. This is a third printing variant. Pretty awesome. I think it's the first cover of, uh, I forget his name, but this guy. Alrighty. And this badass cover, Wonder Woman, the Justice League Dark, the Witching Hour number one, just a badass cover. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, picked up Spawn number, I forget what number this is, but this is a Virgin cover by Matina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cosmic Ghost Rider number three variant. Man, this has been piled. This is back up. Cosmic Ghost Rider number four variant. Virgin variant. I love this cover. This is Amazing Spider Man Annual number one. Delato. Badass Patina cover. Batman number 55. I wanted the variant for this, but I couldn't get it. This is uh, Mr. and Mrs. X-Men, or Mr. and Mrs. X, number three. Awesome Dotson cover. I wanted the version for this, couldn't get that either. Plus, I don't want to pay 100 bucks for that crap. <laughs> so this is uh, X-Men Black, number one. Some J. Scott Campbell action for ya. Had to pick that up. Adam Hughes, Superman, number three, love it. Some Frizzin flavor. X-Men Red, gorgeous. This is Wonder Woman number 55. Love when she's holding those fire swords, pretty awesome. Some more fire sword action for you. This is a badass cover, I should've bought another one of these, but this is Wonder Woman number 54. And ended up getting two of these. Gorgeous cover, this is a uh, Art Germs. Variant cover for uh, Catwoman number Trace. Trace. Indeed. All right. Moving on. I, um, my LCS put a bunch of uh, some some comics back on the on the shelves. I guess somebody didn't pick up their <laughs> their pull list or something. But it was a lot of like uh, Middleton covers, so I picked up all of them. Well, all that I can. And so yeah, so let me show you what I picked up. 
picked up this one. Batgirl number 24. Gorgeous. Picked up Aquaman number 39. We got all these for cover price. These is uh, Aquaman number 38. Also Middleton cover. These are just, Middleton is just killing it, killing it. Aquaman number 40. Batgirl number 27. And I kept, this was put out and unfortunately I didn't get it for cover price, but I did get it for only $30, which I think is a steal. And I got another one of these Batgirl 23, so fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, so thank you to whoever didn't pick up their pull list or moved away or what, whatever. Thank you, I appreciate it. I was able to pick this thing up for 30 bucks. Wish I got it for cover, but it's all good. I got two of these in my co um, my my collection. Oh, this cover is like the best, probably the cover of the year, so. Indeed, moving on, move in on, let's go, all right. Uh, moving on to my to a, a, a different LCS that I go to that's close to me. Got a couple of the, uh, this is, uh, got, got a couple of comics for cheap. This is Iron Man number 200. Got it for $1.99. Uh, I think it's the first silver Iron Man. I, I forget it. But the only also our reason why I picked it up is in, it's in immaculate condition too. It's like near mint. So couldn't pass that up for, for $1.99. Also found uh, Amazing Spider-Man annual number 19. First appearance of, oh man, something Smythe. Alrighty. Uh, also found this for $1.99. This is uh, the New Teen Titans, number 16. And it's the first appearance of the uh, Captain Carrot. So, <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? And this one, uh, this, was, this is an awesome find for $1.99. Uh, it's the, like, I think one of the last Alan Moore stories or something like that. And it's the first appearance of Black Mercy. So this is uh, Superman Annual number 11. Awesome. Look at that. And this is immaculate condition too. Like, good goodness. Good golly. Alrighty. Good golly. Must matter. And the last book I picked up from that store, I only picked up the, those and not too many. So this is micro, uh, Microsoft. <laughs> micro Knots number one. For, I picked this up for five bucks. Uh, and this is also in, in immaculate condition. So... <laughs> You know, first appearance of the Micronauts. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, moving on back to my Honey Hole LCS. Uh, let me show you some of the dollar books that I found. All right, let's show up. Let's go. First up, uh, 8-Bit Zombie, number one. Uh, I don't know why I picked it up. <laughs> Maybe I, I'm, I'm, I'm such a, you know, I just love 8-Bit sh shit, you know, because I, I grew up with Nintendo. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. It's got like Zelda, Mega Man. You got Mario on there. And, uh, you got the duck hunt dog choking the duck. Was uh, it Ghouls and Ghosts? Uh, uh, I forget. I forget his name. With Q, I forget his name. Donkey Kong, Metroid. So yeah, yeah, for a buck, why not? I and mean, it says, it says, I think it's a variant. I don't know. For a dollar, why not? All right. Next up, got this pretty awesome uh, cover. This is Bubble Gum, Bubble Gun. Bubble Gun Crisis? It just says Bubble Gun. So this is number two, but this is also a variant. And it's also uh, Mark Brooks, if you can see right there. Pretty awesome cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving on. Got Eternals number one. Uh, with the announcement of the movie. Uh, with the, they Finally, they got a director on it, so it's, it's moving forward. So yeah. Um, this, I think this is the... I think there's some first parents in here, but you know. Can't, can't go wrong with the Eternals number one. All right. Found this awesome Brian Bowling cover of this lady taking a shit. <laughs> uh, this is Invisibles uh, number seven. And uh, yeah, uh, you can see right there, it says Brian Bowling about right behind the toilet. And no, oh, yeah, I just picked it up because I love Brian Bowling and this cover is fucking hilarious. <laughs> All right, moving on. Got this awesome uh, Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Uh, this called Lunatic um, from 1996, and yeah, pretty badass cover. I think it's a bear and a, it's a little fairy going on action, but uh, yeah, <laughs> love me some Senkovich or Sinkevich, sorry, Sinkevich. All right, some more Sinkevich flavor. This is uh, Electra the Hand, not too bad, not his, not his best work, but you know, for a buck, why not? This one's a pretty cool Bill Sienkiewicz cover. 
This is the Century and Hulk. So pretty abstract Hulk. Love it. Love his abstract uh, drawings. And yeah, so pretty badass. And the last in Kevish cover that I found, this is a uh, Vigilante number 28. Yeah. All right, moving on. I found the McFarlane cover. This is an awesome McFarlane cover. I, every time I uh, see this, especially for a buck, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely pick it up. Uh, McFarlane Shadow Cat cover. Pretty badass. This is Excalibur number 32. 32. Yeah, yeah. All right. Found this for a dollar. This is just a variant to, what is this? X Force number 21. You know, it's a homage cover to Interview with the Vampire, so. Yeah, yeah. Found the first appearance of Onslaught. This is uh, X Men number 53. Pick that up for a dollar. Oh, another Sinkevich cover. <laughs> Everyone's favorite movie. This is uh, the official movie ad adaptation of Judge Dredd. The Sly Stallone version. I love that movie. <laughs> that movie's horrible as fuck, but you know, it was just fun to watch when you're a kid, you know. It's horrible, horrible acting. But you know, I had fun at theaters, and like I said, when you have fun at theaters, all that matters, right? Indeed. So yeah, Bill Sinkevich cover. You can see his name right there across the I don't know if you can see that, but yep. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Awesome. And I found this Life Field and McFarlane. Is this a variant? I'm not quite sure. But this is the infinite number two. Um, pretty badass. You know, I love when Lightfield and McFarlane get together. You know, I'm sure McFarlane helps him on the feet. He's like saying, that's not how you draw feet, stupid. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who drew what, but well, yeah, this is a pretty badass cover. <laughs> All right, moving on. Sticking with the dollar. Sticking with the dollars, man. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of dollar books. Insane. This is the first appearance of Damien Dark for a dollar. Titans number one. Pretty cool, I think. I'm not sure what this is. A reintroducing Raven, I guess. This is Teen Titans number eight. I believe that's what this is. So, got that for a buck. Got this J. Scott Campbell cover, Spider Man Sweet Charity. Yeah, for a dollar. Campbell for a buck. Can't pass that up. Uh, this is the first appearance of um, oh my god, I'm forgetting. Yikes. First appearance of somebody. Sorry, I'm, I'm blanking right now. But this is Web of Spider-Man number 30 CX. Pretty good pretty good condition too as well. If I can figure out this is the first appearance of... <laughs> I'm forgetting. But anywho, yeah, moving on. Uh, this is the first appearance of Nightwatch or cameo appearance of Nightwatch. So it's Web of Spider-Man number 97. Found that for a dealer. For a dealer. Still with dollar... Still dollar bin diving at my LCS. This is Spider-Man Noir, Eyes Without a Face. Uh, and number one, and this is uh, actually a variant, so I, you know, I can't can't pass up hard to find variants for a buck. I've never seen this before, so uh, I think this is the second volume of the Spider-Man Noir. So which which the first volume are uh, Spider-Man Noir number one variant and the original of oh, the regular one are going for lots of money. So cool, we'll pick this up for a buck already. So. Found a Wonder Woman number one of five. Uh, first appearance of uh, the new Wonder Girl. So pick that up for a dollar. Um, picked up another one of these. Big Trouble in Little China number one. Uh, just love the movie. And it's an Eric Powell cover. So yeah, pick that up for a buck. I uh, found this awesome jock cover. This is Wolverine Max number 14. Pretty badass. So yeah, check that out. Booyah. Ooh, yeah. All right. Hunter Scott just got casted, so this cover is pretty badass. This is Birds of Prey number 57. So, super excited for the Birds of Prey movie, and uh, the casting that they've been doing so far has been uh, pretty good. So, we'll see how the movie we'll see how the movie turns out. I found uh, this variant for a dollar. This is um, Guardians of the Galaxy number 24, uh, Sorrentino ver uh, variant. Uh, I don't know the ratio, but yeah. Dollar variant. I'll take that. I'll take that. I found this one a dollar. This is uh, Supergirl Rebirth number one for Adam Hughes cover. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Still sticking with the dollar, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lot. Told you I got. I'm backed up. 
Back the fuck up. All right, sorry. Sorry, my cursing. <laughs> this is Dark Horse Presents number 24. I believe this is the first uh, Donny Cates uh, written work. So if it's not his first, it's definitely one of his earliest. And uh, yeah, so and this came out in, in what, 2012, I believe? Something like that. But yeah, this is a uh, early work of Donny Cates' story, line, a story inside this. So, so yeah, found that for a buck. Um, found this reprint for a dollar. Had I can't pass it up. It's just an awesome cover. You know, Harley Quinn number one. Yeah, yeah, uh, Alex Ross, baby. Yeah, Alex Ross, baby. All right. Found the first appearance of uh, the new Ghost Rider. Wait, oh man, what's his name? Ketchum? Ketchup? I don't know. <laughs> Ketchum, ketchup. First appearance of that dude. Uh, yeah, Ghost Rider number one. <laughs> for a dollar. Alright. I should have done my research before I did this, right? <laughs> Found this awesome uh, bronze uh, comic book for a buck. This is Silver Server number one. Check that out. Number one. I think this is uh, second volume, I guess. Oh, I'm forgetting. But yeah, just a bronze book for a buck. Can't pass that up. Found a uh, new. Uh, Experience of the new cheetah, and this is uh, Wonder Woman number nine. Number nine, all right. Found both uh, Infinity uh, New Avengers number nine and number eight, which is the first appearance of the Black Order. Found those both of those for a dealer. For a dealer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know why I picked this up. This is Wildcats number one. I thought it was worth something, but it's not. The reason why I picked it up is because it's, it's a it says 3D edition, so which means don't mean shit. <laughs> so I don't know. I've never saw it before, so I thought maybe it was worth something, but not really. But it has the 3D glasses and stuff like that, so yeah, why not? Uh, found two of these: Young Blood number two, first appearance of Profit, and Shadowhawk on the back. So you know, for a dollar each, you know, why not? Even though this book's not going doing really do anything anymore. Uh, I found this J. Scott Campbell for a buck. G.I. Joe number two. Also found Danger Girl Special number one. It's number one? I don't know. This is awesome J. Scott Campbell cover. And this one for a dollar as well. So Gen 13 number 12. Just an awesome, awesome cover by J. Scott Campbell's. Campbell's. Alrighty. Also found Ghost Rider uh, number 28. And it's the first appearance of the Midnight Suns. All right, all right. Still going with the dollar books. Promise, ladies and gentlemen, it's getting a little better. It's gonna get better. Uh, first cameo appearance of Gambit. This is a uh, X Men Annual number fourteen. Find it for a dollar. Yeah, yeah. All right. Found the first appearance of the Great Lakes Avengers. West Coast Avengers number forty-six for a dollar. It's in great condition. Great. Found West Coast Avengers number 45 for Spirits of the White Vision. Pretty good cover, pretty good condition as well. Found some Adam Hughes goodness. Always pick up Adam Hughes for a dealer. Look at this one. I love this cover. This is uh, Ferris number 21. And I also found Ferris number, uh, what is number? Number is 27. Pretty awesome. And I love this cover. This is uh, number 26. Running from the train. Run, girl, run. Alright. <laughs> Found some Bilson Kevich cover. I just love this cover. This is awesome. This is Daredevil number number six. Gorgeous. Some Kevich cover. And also found number seven. Six and seven. So oh yeah. Uh I'm forgetting what the significance of this one. I know it's like a, is this the first appearance of somebody? I forget, but I found it in the dollar bin, so old man logan number forty three. Forgetting the significance of this, but I know it's the first appearance of somebody. Or something. I don't know. Alright. Also found um, this for a dollar. It's Daredevil number 500. This is the Alex Ross variant. Pretty badass. All right, moving on. Uh, also found a bunch of these uh, Adam Hughes books. Uh, I'm not sure if you know about these, but this is called Just Imagine Stanley's uh, comic books. And uh, on each of those books, on the back, Adam Hughes did a, a, a artwork on each, on each one. So, if you see these, uh, this one's uh, Superman. So, just imagine Stanley's Superman. Uh, you wouldn't can tell unless you flip it. Um, you know, 
flip it around and you get an Adam Hughes cover. So this one, so you can see right there, the little AH action. So this is Stanley Superman. Uh, there's no, no, it's just Stanley Superman's so. all. All right. They also had, this is the JLA, it's the front. When you flip it around, there's the Adam Hughes cover. This is uh, Stanley's JLA. This is his imagining of what JLA. This is the Green Latin uh, front. Then the Adam Hughes cover, which is pretty badass. This is uh, this, uh, this gorgeous, gorgeous cover by Adam Hughes. Love it. All for a buck. Got these for a dollar. Uh, Robin. I don't know why is this in my land. I don't know why I put that one in my land. Uh, but yeah, Adam Hughes, right there. A H. Okay. Um, original Shazam cover. Flip it around. Adam Hughes cover, which is pretty badass. Look at that. End up getting two of those. All right. Uh, this one is the Flash. Uh, pretty cool in the front. But better on the back by Adam Hughes. Look at that. I love the blues on this thing. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. There we go. AH. And I ended up getting finding two of those. And I don't know why I have one mylar and whatnot. Um, and the last one I found uh, was Catwoman, which is probably his better one. And um, if you turn it around, awesome Adam Hughes cover. So bam. But bam. Check that out. Yeah. All right. All right, and some of the best dollar books that I found. Um, I found Batman 475, first appearance of Renee Montoya. Pretty badass. It's gonna be a new Birds of Prey movie. Uh, found a Justice League 31 from the New 52. Uh, first full appearance of Jessica Cruz, I believe, right? Yeah, check that out. First appearance of Vigilantes, all new Teen Titans, number two, annual, for a dollar, for a dealer, awesome George Perez cover. Uh, first appearance of Blackfire, yeah, yeah, new stand, new stand. And so this is Teen Titans, number 23. Uh, this is a pretty awesome find. This is first appearance of Sidorak, for a dollar, Doctor Strange, number four, four, check that out, yeah. Immaculate condition for a dollar. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. And this book is pretty hot right now. Uh, this was an awesome find for a dollar. Uh, this is Uncanny X Men uh, number 164, first appearance of uh, Binary. So, uh, also a newsstand. So, pretty badass to find that for a buck. And probably the best dollar book that I found, in my opinion, I, this is Immaculate Condition too. This is pretty awesome. This is a uh, Ninja Turtles number one, but this is the was going to be a fourth printing. So I, I, you know, this this book is in immaculate condition. I think this probably can go for around like between forty bucks, maybe. I believe this thing, this thing is starting to creep up. It's a wraparound cover too, so it would shredder on the back. You can see Shredder's uh, hand right there, but flip it around, uh, turn it around, it, it shows his whole face. So it's pretty. This comic book is creeping up, so keep on a lookout. I know because you know. The first and second printings are kind of out of reach, so and third printing even so is getting out of reach as well. So people are looking for the fourth and then also the the fifth printing. So, so yeah, this is a pretty good one for a dollar. Ninja Turtles. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Uh, you know, I like I, I, you know me. I like to scour on eBay. I found, I came across this uh, lot. And I found, uh, you know, I, I, honestly, eBay is getting a little tougher to find some shit. <laughs> People are smartening up. But uh, I came across this thing. This one is, I, um, uh, it's like 37 Secret Avengers lot, uh, all for um, uh, for $55 I paid, uh, including shipping. So, uh, like I said, I'm not going to show you all 37 comic books that came with it. It's just a bunch of, sh it was like from number one to 37. Um, but it had variants of, of some of the 30 uh, within 1 through 37. So let me just show you some of the highlights um, This is a uh, Secret Avengers number 29 uh, There we go. This is an awesome art Adams cover uh, Secret Avengers number 22 another Arthur Adams cover, but it's a second printing variant uh, This is also a second printing variant. This is a 21.1 
And this is pretty cool. Side cut. Let me turn it sideways. The Secret Avengers number 13 variant. Pretty awesome. Check that out. Uh, I love this cover. This is a Amanda Kano cover. This is what the, it's the vampire cover. This is a Secret Avengers number 6. Pretty badass. I just love how she's about to flick. Is it Ant-Man? Is it Ant-Man the Wasp? Or just Ant-Man? Alright, just Ant-Man. <laughs> so yeah, this cover is awesome. Amanda Connor, one of her, one of her good ones. <laughs> uh, this was in here. This is worth some money as well. This is um, Secret Avengers number 6. Women of Marvel. Uh, just an awesome Valkyrie cover. Immaculate condition. All the books that came in that lot were it, like near mint. So, pretty badass. And uh, this book, I was happy that was in there because this is pretty awesome too. So I, I don't, I didn't have this book, and, I, and I've always wanted it. And I don't want to pay like over 20, 30 bucks for this. But uh, this is Secret Avengers number seven, and this is the Tron variant of Moon Knight. Check that out. Love me some Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah. Pretty badass. All right. And finally, uh, the last two books. Uh, it came with uh, Secret Avengers. Um, number 23, first appearance of, of Secret of Agent Venom. And then uh, right behind that was the variant, the black and white variant. So, bam! Hell yeah! Check that out. Uh, so I think that was a pretty good price for uh, 37 comic books, and including all those variants. So some of these variants alone are worth like 30, 50 bucks. So, especially this one. This one's uh, creeping up as well. Uh, so happy to have this one. And uh, I'll just sell off the rest to make my money. That's how I, That's what I do. I just keep the ones I like and sell the rest off and then make my money back. So I kind of got these, feel like I got these for free 99. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving on. Uh, found some awesome Street Fighter books. Uh, I love, I'm a huge Street Fighter fan. And these books, uh, these are all variants from like certain uh, shows or like, uh, so, uh, so yeah, so I came across this website and found a bunch of these awesome variants. So let me show you what I got. First off, I got the Street Fighter Summer Sports Special. This is the Nicki Minaj variant. Damn, check that out. Chun Li, love me some Chun Li. Look at her hips. Her hips don't lie. That is some massive crush, crushing you, man. <laughs> awesome cover. Uh, yeah, so I had to pick this up. Love me some Chun Li. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous cover. All right. Moving on, I think this was only, you only could purchase this on the Udon store, and it was like a, uh, something like that. Alright, next up, I found this, this is uh, this is an awesome cover of Morgan and Chung Lee. This is a Sun Tzu special number 20, uh, 2017, and this one you can only buy, I guess, I think this was at the only at the Anime Expo. So I think there's only about two or three hundred of these made, and yeah, so happy to get that variant. I love both. I love Star Dark Stalkers as well as, as well as Street Fighter. So pretty, pretty sexy, pretty awesome. Check that out. Woo. Yeah. All right. Moving on. These uh, uh, Kandokin variant covers are pretty awesome too. Very hard to find. I think they're like one in twenties. First up, I got Laura uh, uh, Matsuda, one of the newer characters. So pretty badass. And then uh, I, I I don't I'm looking for the Chun Lu one, but they had uh, a few of these uh, Cami ones, so I ended up picking up three Cami. Um, yeah, pretty badass Street Fighter uh, uh, Kendokin 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 covers. So yeah, I got to end up getting three of these. So hell yeah, love me some Cami. This cover is badass. Check that out. And finally, uh, the last Street Fighter books that I picked up, or one of the is uh, this badass cover. I think this is only 300, uh, one out of 300. And this is the Street Fighter Shadow Lou special, number one. Awesome Warren Lou or Lao cover. Um, there's two variants of this cover. This one's the more limited one, the blue. And then the one where she's wearing red is the one a little, I think that one's about a little more uh, accessible to get. But this one's a little more harder to get because it's obviously limited run. So happy to have that in my collection. Love me some cami. Bam! Booty. Booty, booty, booty. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Moving on. Um, I think I picked this off on eBay. This is the first appearance of Domo, Thena, Makari, Zurus. Um, this is Eternals number five. 
pick that up. Pick that up before the movie announcement was made. Um, there's also rumors of a Black Knight movie, so I hopped on eBay and tried to get the stuff. Try to um, oops, let me put back Pickle Rick with his Adult Swim jacket on or his vest on. Um, yeah, so there was an announcement of a Black Knight script being shopped around, like maybe Guy Ritchie might directing something like that. So uh, yeah, went to eBay. I tried to get some cheap stuff, to, you know, before everyone snatches it up. Found uh, Avengers number forty-eight. First Prince of the Black Knight. Uh, yeah, found that one, and I also found uh, Tales to Astonish number fifty-two, which is the first appearance of the. I forget the names of this Black Knight. The difference between this and this one. I think this one. I'm not quite sure, but I just picked up. I wanted it to be safe, I guess you could say. So <laughs> Tales to Astonish. Uh, yeah, number fifty-two. There's the Black Knight right there. Black Knight. Black Knight Strikes. All right. All right. Moving on, uh, sticking with another eBay found, um, uh, scouring eBay, uh, eBay um, that I found a lot that I found on eBay. This this lot uh, consisted of twenty one comics for, and it came out to a total of twenty seven dollars. So here's a picture, and uh, in that picture, it's just a bunch of random comics, and then but there's one certain comic in that picture uh, that caught my eye. So and uh, so yeah. And I zoomed up a little closer, and I, you know, bought it as soon as possible once I found out what that book was. So, and in that, in that, as you see in the picture, this book was in that lot, and I paid twenty-seven dollars for the whole lot. But this is the only book that I really wanted. So, bam! Check this out, Sandman number seventy-five. And then you're like, what is what's significant about this? <laughs> well, this is a hard-to-find book. When it, when you, and the reason why, because it's a second printing, uh, as you can see right there, it says second printing. Very, very hard book to find. Very rare. It's on recalled comics. And uh, to find this in a lot for 27 bu bucks and in immaculate condition too, this thing is uh, near mint, uh, pretty close to near, near mint, uh, like a 9.4 probably, I'm hoping. Maybe even higher, who knows? But yeah, super rare book, to, hard to find book, and so happy to find that. For twenty-seven dollars, yeah, very, very cool, very cool. Uh, like I said, it's getting harder to find stuff on eBay, but you know, I get lucky every once in a while. So, and this was this was the one of the times. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, coming down to my last few books. Super happy to finally cross this off my list. I've been wanting this book for such a long time, and I got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, bought this off eBay. I think I paid. I think I paid like eighty something dollars. But uh, yeah, this is the first appearance of Constantine. Yeah, I've been wanting this book for quite some time now. A uh, huge Swamp Thing fan, you know, you know, huge Constantine fan, and I, I've just been like wanting this book. This was definitely on my list, this especially this year. So happy to just cross that off. Finally, cross this off. So this is Swamp Thing number thirty-seven. Check that out. Oh yeah, this is definitely be sent to CGC too. So. Def I think I definitely got a good price on it. And yeah, love me some Constantine. Check that out. All right, finally, uh, I've been wanting this book too. This was a book, this book was on my list as well this, for this year. And, uh, but I ended up buying this first. <laughs> this is the uh, Detective Comics number 880. Um, ooh, it's shiny. It is a shiny bitch. And this is the... Um, foil version. Uh, I think I paid forty bucks or something like that. All, um, off this, uh, it, this Legacy Comics here in LA were selling it, so I, I purchased it. Um, I think uh, I think that's about what it goes for, or something like that. Maybe it goes for a little bit more, but yeah, I just absolutely love this cover. So, but I bought this first, and then I was watching another book on eBay, and then I actually won that book, and finally can cross this off my list. This is a uh, Detective Comics number eight eighty. The OG version, not that foil version, but this is definitely one of the comics I've been longing and wanting for quite some time. Just couldn't get a good price on it, so I actually got a really good price on this thing, and so happy to have this finally in my collection because I'm a huge Joker fan, Jock fan, Batman fan. This comic book is just a must-have for if you're any of those fans. So <laughs> super happy to finally have that in my collection. 
Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my comment call number 24. Uh, comment, hit that like button, and let me know what you think. All right, until next time. Peace.